Welcome back. We're at the hospital and we need to visit uh, Marie. But uh, before we can do that, we need to figure out where she actually is, what room she's in. So let's talk to the receptionist. May I help you, sir? Yes, you may. I'm looking for my wife, Marie Bonds. Could you tell me what room she's in, please? Oh yes, your wife has been moved to room number 307. Okay, so let's go there. Room looks exactly the same as the other room she was in. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's uh, look at Marie, see how she's doing. Your beloved wife lies motionless in a coma. You wish there was some way to know what she's thinking. If she's thinking. Can we talk to her? You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. There's not much we can do here, but we should give her the mementos uh, that we brought her, such as the music box and Rose. Marie's eyelids flutter, almost as though she could hear her music box. That's a promising sign. How about the Rose? Oh, you can see that? You could swear that you just saw Marie's finger move. And... We should kiss her. You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. Now you might think that these are all optional things that you can do to uh, get extra points. You'd be wrong. Not doing these things has very bad consequences. And considering that, like I said before, you get only one chance near the beginning of the game to get that music box, that really is a pretty bad thing. If you forget that, and get to the end of the game, and things go wrong there, you have to start over from almost at the beginning. I wish I could say that was unusual for a Sierra game, but unfortunately, it isn't. Not much else we can do here. So, let's go home. After all, we've been at work for half an hour today, so we must be tired. Feeling physically and emotionally drained, you drive home. He was so physically and emotionally drained that it took him eight hours to drive home. Day three. You go through the motions of getting ready for work. One o'clock. Man, this guy has uh, strange working hours. Maybe that's normal if you work with the police, I have no idea. Alright, let's head up to our office and see what's new.
Afternoon, Bonds. I was just on my way to the locker room. I'll be back in a minute if you need me. What are you going to do in the locker room? So after what we saw in her personnel file and those complaints we had to deal with, I'm not sure I trust her. And she was doing something with this drawer. Let's see if we can open that. It's locked. Too bad. Anything new on the bulletin board? Herein lies the names of the programmers who without old Femfor brought you this game. Dog Oldfield, Chris Hoyt, Kim Bowdish, and Mike Larson. But other than that, there's nothing new on the bulletin board. But we do appear to have something in our basket. You have a phone message from the captain in your basket. Let's see what it is. Pick up and read the message. Bonds, a Carla Reed called for you. Says you saw the newspaper article about Marie. Ah, oh, that's the one that uh, that reporter placed for us, we called yesterday. Better get on over there. I think she may have something for you. Strange address, though. 325 South 2nd Street. That's the old industrial park. 325 South 2nd Street. Apparently not a residential area. That is strange. Well, we'd better uh, head over there. 162 points. Which is where we're supposed to be, according to my notes. Now, because we're in uh, Homicide and not in traffic anymore, we don't use the black and white. We use the unmarked car, which apparently is also our personal car. And because she's our partner... Wait for me, Sonny! Pat Morales goes with us, unfortunately. This day is already longer than uh, we spent at work yesterday. Okay. We have to go to 325 South 2nd. This Carla Reed lives on 325 South 2nd. That's not a residential area. This better not be someone idea, someone's idea of a joke. 325 South 2nd? That's just a bunch of old abandoned warehouses. Apparently. Okay, we need to get to 2nd Street, so let's turn right here. And 325 South 2nd is on 2nd Street between uh, Poppy and River, which is down here. So let's just get to 2nd Street and then turn left. That's 4th. 3rd. And we're coming up on 2nd Street. You don't actually need to go to the left lane if you want to turn left, but for some reason I like doing that. Now there isn't actually anything at 325 South 2nd Street. There's no uh, mall or other place where you can turn off the main roads. All we need to do is just stop here after the intersection and Get out!
This does look like a peculiar place for someone to live. I guess we'll have to uh, check out what is actually going on here in the next video.